if you are a student or teacher or an alumni then this video is for you in this video we are going to learn how to add a university account to your apple mail app what is a university account a university account will have edu at the end of your email account it's similar to have a domain account for example my website is equatori.com and i can have an email info at equatori.com so in this account example, you will have your name, your university outgoing and incoming server and together this is your email account. So what you need to do, first of all, you need to consult your university to have IMAP set up for outgoing and incoming emails. Let's have an example. For example, this is Jilin University IMAP setup and here you can see clearly it's written mail.jlu.edu.cn. This is the incoming server and outgoing server is also the same. Every university will have its own outgoing and incoming server. So you need to ask your university for the incoming and outgoing server. Once you get it, you are good to go. So we will be adding this university account in mail app on iOS and macOS. So let's start with macOS first. Open mail app, go to mail, add an account. Scroll all the way down and see other mail account. Click on continue. Let's say my account is a thequistic and then we take example of this account at mails.edu.cn here you need to type your email password and this could be your official name if you don't know your name you can simply type this email instead of the name and here is the actual deal first is your email account then user if you don't remember it's okay you can simply paste your email account here as well this password is your email password, remember that. And then there are two options. You can also set POP. In the meantime, you can set IMAP. These both setups will work and you need to talk to your university which setup the university is offering. In this example, we are gonna choose IMAP. And for this example university, the outgoing server and incoming is same. Actually, this is wrong. This is not just mail, it's mails. So type the incoming mail server and outgoing mail server then hit on sign in. This is an example account so it will not sign in. As you can see it gives an error unable to verify account name or password. It's just because I have already signed in my account and I didn't log out but in your case you will successfully sign in your account here. In my case I can show you this is my website email and I can simply go to my inbox here and you can clearly see it's contact at equatori.com. In the meantime, the other account is info at equatori.com. And here is the university account. And by using this university account, I can simply go to compose an email. And here it's written .edu.cn. I can simply send this email. If there are some errors, then at least you can receive those emails here in the mail app and use the university client to send the emails because sometimes there are problems. I'm not saying it's 100% all right. It depends on the university servers. On your phone, go to setting, search your mail app, open it and go to mail accounts. Go to add an account, same like you did on macOS. Go to others, add an account, type your email account associated with the university, hit next. So here you will see incoming mail server and outgoing mail server. This is also SMTP. Type the incoming and outgoing mail servers. At the place of username, type your email again and hit next. If you have a POP setup, then type the same things by collecting the information from your university about outgoing and incoming servers. So we are on the IMAP, hit on next and save your account. Go to your mail app. Here you can see different accounts. And this one is my university account. If I click on this arrow, you can see inbox drafts sent junk. You can go to create an email, go to from and choose your university account. Compose your email and send. Cool. If you want to learn more about uh, fixing the crashes on mail app, then here's a video. I hope you like this video. Thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.